And I just want to let you guys know that the ice dad is in fact a physical specimen and I did not force him to be in the video. He wanted to do this and he wanted to be in the video. He wanted to come out and crutch around this little elementary school course. So here we are. Hey guys, we just checked out a bunch of different used bins. We've got a Weird Stuff Wednesday disc to share with you guys today. We've got the DGA Shockwave Overstable Midrange. I believe the flight numbers are 4203. This thing apparently is an absolute unit. We got the ice dad on the crutches still, unfortunately. He would throw this, but he's got a torn calf. Pretty overstable looking disc. It just kind of reminds me of like a faster A2. Almost has an A2 Prodigy bottom and then like a rock top. It's a very bizarre feeling disc. Discontinued disc from DGA. How, how stable do you think this is realistically going to be? Uh, it's so old. That thing's got to be flippy. It's got this old like champion edition plastic, which is what really, yeah, I guess get, you can give it a feel too. Oh yeah. But it's got that old school feel to it. I think this is a pretty old disc. So if you've ever thrown the shockwave, comment down below. We're here at the STEM Academy, super short elementary school course. And yeah, we're just going to give the shockwave a few throws. Yeah, this will probably last until you hit the first tree. You think it's going to break? Uh, you could, you could break that. I don't think it's going to break. It feels pretty solid. I'm an expert in weird discs. All right, hole one. We're right here. I strategically set you guys up so you could see the flight. About 110 feet par three. Let's see if it's stable. I think it's parked. That had a nice little bit of glide to it, but it's a perfect disc for this exact shot. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Let's get underway. And so with this guy injured, we've been scouring every used bin in the state of North Carolina. And we have found some hecka sweet used discs and rare discs. And yeah, I got a lot of cool stuff to do for Weird Stuff Wednesday. So anyway, we yeah, got some we good stuff. Definitely found some gems out there. Yeah. All right. So we are inside the circle. We've got about a 10 footer here. We're going to go for the Ice Dad crutch putt here. Can Ice Dad sink the birdie? Hey, yes, we're one for one with the shockwave. Good job. One for one. <laughs> hole two is probably my favorite hole on the course here. If you go left, you could lose your disc forever. I've probably lost at least 10 discs just on this one hole. Really got to trust the flex here. This is going to be a good test of the stability. I'm going to put it on a good bit of Anheuser. The disc is so stable. Ah, that's a, that's actually a nice straight flyer. It flies very like wasp esque in my mind. I feel like it flies very similar to like my Elite Z Discraft wasp. I think I got far enough for us to not lose it forever, but you're gonna have a longer putt this time. Good luck. All right, can we make it two for two? Ooh. I, I can't tell you how weird it is putting without being able to move. <laughs> hey! <Yeah. laughs> Two, two for, for two. two. No two way. Two for two. No way. Yeah. All right. While the ice dad is trying to navigate this uh, sketchy terrain, there was an Innova Pulsar. I didn't know this was a thing. In the basket of that previous hole, we're going to go big fat fan grip here. Pulsar is absolute fire. All right, we've got 183 foot par three here. So far, the shockwave is is impressive. It's a nice straight but stable flyer, just like kind of like a beefy rock. Did it? Shot, go in. Oh, oh I just oh, hit the basket. Oh, oh man. It would have been insane to ace with the shockwave. We have a few more chances, but that was probably the best hole for it. Hole three. <laughs> That's my doubles partner right there. We hit the basket. Yeah. Nice. That was a low pressure putt. Those are the only ones I like. How's the uh, momentum looking so far? I think we're shooting pretty well. We are. Three for three. Let's go. Going backhand? Yeah. We got a 330 foot par four, hole four. No, I think we're going to try the shock wave on the flick. It feels really nice for the flick because it is pretty flat. It's like if you like the rock, but you like them flat, you would like the shock wave. Yeah, that has all the torque resistance oh, yeah. in the world. 
I love the shockwave. The shockwave is surprising me. It's, I mean, drastically underrated. I'm, I'm yeah. not sure why they would discontinue such a good disc. Yeah, I was a bit skeptical of the forehand, but she performed amazingly. Well, my first run Quake was ridiculously overstable, like this uh, shockwave. But now new Quakes aren't as stable. They're kind of flippy. So I feel like the shockwave is just kind of everything that the Quake should be. Yeah, you threw that quake ridiculously well until it got too beat in. And then you got another one that was, yeah, definitely not as stable. Yeah, but the shockwave just seems a lot more consistent than the quake, even on the flick, which is really surprising me. Yeah, me too. Navigating the lie here. You do have an eagle opportunity here. It's going to go with the one-legged <sighs> crutch. <laughs> Backhand he chooses. I thought he'd go forehand. Uh, doesn't feel super comfortable in the hand, but I really feel like... At least now you can plan on that. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, what a layup. That's a great birdie, honestly. Nice shot. <laughs> All right, we're still perfect through four. One of the tougher holes we have on the course here. We got the shock wave. We're perfect through four. How's it feel? Teamwork. Makes the dream work. Makes the dream. <laughs> yeah. All right. We got a nice brisk headwind here. I don't know how far this is. Okay. 275 is a pump for the shock wave. I'm going to give it a little bit of Anheuser and a good bit of height. See if we can get it to push around the tree there. Oh, I slipped, but I oh, think it's... Yeah. Go, go, go. Come on, push. Flex. Oh, yeah, you got the distance. We got all the distance. It's not quite as stable as I expected. The uh, guy who sold it to me, Daryl over at Down for Disc Golf, he said it was absurdly stable. I think I mean, that just flies like a super beefy rock or wasp, but just like a nice, pushy, stable mid. Really solid disc so far. All right, I kind of failed you off the tee, honestly. You're outside the circle. All right, well, we're gonna have to take a knee. Are we ready? Oh yeah, we're always ready. I'm we're always rolling. live. Okay, come on, baby. I like this putt style for you, Gannon, the Gannon putt. Oh! oh. oh. Nice try. That's our first par of the day, though. We're looking good. Whew. That was a really nice bid. Thanks, man. All right, after an unfortunate par here, we are four down through five. Shockwave, though, I'm really enjoying throwing this. This is been looking for a disc just like this. This might be the one. Just a few holes left. Hole six, 203, par three. I'm going to go back to the flick on the shockwave. Come on, give me some stability. Go down the hill. Hole eight, 114, par three, nice little forehand hyzer. Really hoping this has enough stability to swing towards the basket at the end. Swing. Oh, almost based it. Let's go. All right, we got the ice dad right behind the basket. This has grown a lot since I've last been here. There's not really a forehand line anymore. All right, we're going to have a long look. Let's it's see if the Ice turn. Dad can knock down our last putt of the day. Do it. Oh. oh. I think that would have been the shot that shook the world had oh, no. it gone in. All right, let's 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 outro this thing. Hoo-wee. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I got absolutely obliterated by thorn bushes, and I think your triceps are cooked from the crutches. So yeah. we're both a little beat up after this episode of Weird Stuff Wednesday, but... Not all the discs I review on Wednesdays are always good. And sometimes I even look for discs that are particularly bad or awful. The Shockwave is neither of those things. I actually think it's a really solid disc and it really reminds me of a Wasp. But it's got, it's in this really old aged plastic that's got that champion edition feel to it, which is something I'm really fond of. Not quite as stable as I expected it to be, but it was still an awesome flyer. I mean, you didn't really get to throw it. I putt with it. Do you think it's something similar to a Rift? No, the Rift the is Rift's more little... like a Buzz SS. It's yeah. a lot straighter. Yeah. Um, if you throw really hard, you would get this thing to fly pretty darn straight, as you saw in some of those shots I threw today. 
Um, when I was pushing this closer to 300 feet, it was pretty much dead straight, um, but not quite as flippy as something like a Buzz Assess or a Rift. But anyway, Shockwave, absolute winner. They're out of production, but you guys know I like checking out these out of production discs, and I got a bunch more out of production discs for future Weird Stuff Wednesdays. Make sure you go check out my old episodes of Weird Stuff Wednesdays. Make sure you use my discount code ICE20 to save 20% on your order over at bergsdisksports.com. Or if you need to buy any Frisbees, you can get them over at Power Grip USA. Use my discount code ICEBERG10 to save 10% on any of your disc golf needs over there. I'll see you guys in the next video. Shout out to the Shockwave and take care. Thanks for watching.